Right, so this is a Orico NVMe SSD enclosure. This one specifically, I bought this specifically because it has the Realtek chip. So instead of the uh, Micron model, that's, there are many, many uh, different variants of that in the market. This uh, Realtek, I find it to be nice, high quality and compatible with many chips. So let's give it a go. Let's get this going. It uses its own uh, There we go Hex screw Slides out I generally always buy generic Chinese ones, but this is also Chinese, but you know, like you know, brand ones. I find firmware compatibility issues all the time. So, have a quick look under the microscope what kind of chip they run. So, here we go. Here, yeah, RTL 9210. That's the clock. Very simple. Okay. So we're going to put this guy in here. So what have you been provided with? A rubber pad. Screw Okay Now what is this for? So if this guy goes in here, the screw doesn't actually go there. Is that what it's supposed to do? Seriously, buddy? I haven't used that rubber before. My assumption is like this. It'll give a little give a little bit of support, yeah. And come off, yeah. Now we do that. Put this in just like that. Let's push that a bit more. There we go. Nice. in there nicely and this is the thermal pad 
don't have to use the whole thing, but I will. There we go, salami. Normally I'll do read and write speed test, definitely not on this SSD, for reasons, this is a customer's SSD. But I did do a test before, I did get one gigabyte a second, nearly 998 something megabyte a second on a Mac. And it comes with the USB to Type-C, Type-C to Type-C. What are these screwdrivers? So this one is good to go. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.